I am Gabrielle Emanuel, a research assistant in the Public Health and Primary Care Department at King's College London, and I have the pleasure of introducing our study entitled Cardiovascular Risk Assessment and Treatment in Chronic Inflammatory Disorders in Primary Care, published in Heart. In a recent study, we identified that patients with chronic inflammatory disorders are at increased risk of CVD events, so particularly increased risk of stroke, type 2 diabetes and coronary heart disease. And as a result of the increased risk of CVD amongst chronic inflammatory disorder patients, um, guidelines have been put in place to promote screening of cardiovascular risk factors in these patients. However, we're not sure to which extent these um, guidelines are implemented in general practice. So the aim of the study was to investigate the extent to which primary care practitioners implement these guidelines for rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel disease patients in a population that is highly deprived and ethnically diverse. So um, we selected uh, patients and controls and matched the patients with up to four controls on age, gender, and practice, and we focused on four risk factors, these being BMI, smoking, cholesterol, and blood pressure. And um, we focused on three time points, so these are the year before, the year after, and five years after chronic inflammatory disorder diagnosis. So the analyses revealed only marginally higher levels of risk factor recordings and assessment in RA and IBD patients compared with controls. So trends showed increased recording of individual risk factors in patients compared with controls, but rates were overall very low. So we own, only a tenth of RA patients had been screened for all four risk factors and 6% of IBD patients in the year following diagnosis. And at five years following diagnosis, we were only able to calculate a CVD risk score for about a fifth of RA patients and a tenth of IBD patients. Similar patterns were also observed with regards to CVD management, specifically with lipid-lowering drugs and antihypertensive treatment. So this study also showed that RA patients presented higher rates of CVD risk factor measurement and treatment compared with IBD patients. So this is most likely due to there being more evidence in RA patients of increased CVD risk compared with IBD. So there are probably more clinical recommendations for RA patients compared with IBD patients. So this study represents one of the few prospective studies to evaluate cardiovascular risk factor assessment and management in a highly deprived and ethnically diverse primary care population. So um, the evidence implies suboptimal assessment of CVD risk factors in two of the most common chronic inflammatory disorders known to be associated with cardiovascular risk. The findings highlight the need to encourage and facilitate general practitioners to implement guidelines to prevent cardiovascular disease in RA and IBD patients.